style, strategy, and plan. Rolling option trades, changing the mindset. Well, each week and several times this week, I've gotten emails from people that are struggling with trading options. Um, over many years, I've gotten many of these emails, and they are similar in nature. Uh, they've tried different approaches to trading, um, and ultimately, they've had mixed success, and uh, they land on option trading and start to try that. Um, some actually people trading options for a long period of time. There's a common thread to these emails. And that common thread is uh, what we're going to discuss right now and about uh, how to look at things a bit differently uh, than we do right now as far as option trading and rolling options. So uh, th the common thread is, first of all, there's a uh, strategic option trading style that they believe that they're in. I say believe because strategic option trading um, is is much more than just having a few trades on that are um, usually short option premium and then trying to let time work for you um, where option decay benefits you by being short options uh, or by being short out of the money um, vertical spreads or similar type spreads where time decay works in your in your behalf so just because you do that on a few trades regularly it doesn't mean that you fit into the category of a style of strategic being a strategic option trader it really is much bigger than that and having a lot of positions on at one time and managing that um, a lot of positions meaning 20 or 30 or 40 or more. Um, they, 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 the people that write me, they've learned from similar sources about uh, trading options and how to manage the positions. They learn about you know being mechanical, yet at the same time they're taught that they have to actually trade the position while being mechanical, which has a big contradiction to it just in that. They roll positions uh, because they want to get duration. Uh, in other words, longer period of time when thing doesn't when some things don't work well. And that's basically the strategy. <clears throat> you know that if something doesn't work, you roll it out to a further month and uh, you pay more money essentially or take on more risk on top of what generally you've already lost in the position in order to try to buy the time to get it to work. Um, that works for a while and in, in a, a gyrating market when it is kind of choppy, it's very forgiving and it lets that style work. Uh, however, in changing market conditions, especially in long trending markets, well, like we've had right now with the S&P 500 leaping uh, some, you know, 250 points or more uh, in just a matter of about seven weeks, that type of a move really catches a lot of people that are trying to trade this style. Overall, what happens is that uh, they start losing money as the market momentum picks up and uh, then all of a sudden they don't really know how to handle the position. They end up with a lot of positions that have losses in them. They haven't made any adjustments at all in the positions uh, because that basically is what they're taught. Do their risk management before adding the position and just uh, essentially leave it. Uh, and then you make a choice later whether to close it or roll it. Uh, and so what happens is that most are um, exasperated by the time they're writing me emails about this, uh, disillusioned about the style, and often many are in pain about it uh, because, you know, they've tried other things before. They had a sense this would work. They think option decay means, you know, it's an edge in some way because the options are, you know, they do expire. Uh, and uh, what happens plainly is that they don't understand the trappings of option metrics of that style. 
uh, and are very misinformed and uh, they misunderstand the edge in option trading. Truth is, is that if there's an edge in option trading, it's from discovering mispricing that's in options or in the implied volatility in options. It, uh, it isn't necessarily an edge just because you sell something that is expiring over time. Actually, the pricing of the options do price in that time period. So there really is no edge to just be short options. And um, I actually could take this discussion so much further in so many different ways uh, that uh, it would be a lot more than one video that we're doing right here in option rolling. Um, the, uh, the, the big problem, I want to get back to this option rolling discussion, is that the um, the mindset on rolling uh, is it compounds all of the problems. Uh, in other words, this whole mindset that they have that when it goes wrong, you just roll it and buy time. Um, they're, they're taught that that there will be some reversion to the mean. In other words, the market will eventually change direction at some point and then they will be right. Um, what, what they dis do is disregard the, the forces in the market that made them wrong over the past period of time. It might be for months of time that there is some momentum and these positions keep being wrong and you roll them and even the rolled positions uh, tend to be wrong again. They tend to roll many times. It's this whole mentality of roll it till you get it right. And what happens is, is that, well, they never recover. They give up. Or when they finally do recover something, it's a small amount of the overall money that's been lost in the positions. For example, you know, if you have a position on that, let's say, has a two to one risk reward, let's say you're short an out of the money vertical spread, and you know that you have about a 66% probability of profitability on the spread. When this, you know, if it gives, if you get a max winner on the trade, well, you're going to make, you know, X amount of money. And if you get a max loser on the trade, you're going to lose 2X on that. So, in other words, you lose twice as much as you make. So, where's the edge in that, right? Well, the edge may come from being good at trading it or taking the position off at an earlier time. But then, of course, you're trading. And it's not mechanical anymore. So there's some conflict in the whole style in there. So um, what I want to really look at here is, you know, when, when a trader looks at doing these trades, you know, what is it that they really want? Well, when you, when you listen to these, you're going to know that there's something in there that isn't really right in the mindset. It's um, they want to avoid locking in a loss, of course. So what they do is they roll a position that is wrong into another position that has you have no sense of whether it's going to be right or wrong. And in fact, it's most of the time against the momentum of the market. So there's maybe a good chance you'll still be wrong in that. Um, there will be uh, what they want is a chance to get their money back. So they're motivated by money uh, and not motivated by the other important analytical aspects of putting on uh, the position. Uh, they're in this mindset of the market can't do this any longer, can it? You don't know how many questions, how many times I get an email with that question. Can the market keep going up this way? I mean, it seems like those come all of the time. And uh, at that point, they may ever, even be in revenge trading where there, it's the war of the market move against me, uh, and it ends up to be a very, very difficult time right there uh, because then trading is so emotional in that aspect. So there, there's, so there's so much of this that feeds into some unhealthy approach to trading uh, when you look at rolling positions. So I think I covered that pretty well as to the uh, the mindset and the way people are taught about rolling positions uh, in option positions is really what we're talking about here, though it shows up in uh, uh, some other aspects of trading also. Uh, 
and we can talk about that in separate videos or if you send me emails but mainly we're talking about rolling option positions here and uh, that that mindset is really important to change the mindset of that um, I've, I've, I'm losing money now I need to buy more time to try to get my money back I mean that's basically the core of it so what then makes you know a healthy uh, mindset what are the rules to do things a little differently well I have three rules actually that I think are very important um, uh, th this is a whole thing of unlearning and when I work with a lot of traders who are trading options and have been through this where they've learned from other sources and some of you know uh, where I you know the what I, what my history is and how some uh, how some of this has been taught in other ways uh, I don't really want to name names or point fingers uh, I just want to really focus on how to do this better it's 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 uh, helping people to unlearn some of the things that they've um, learned before from these other sources or uh, teachers or experts in options so I'm gonna give you three rules I think that it is important to apply to uh, your option rolling and your option positions and if uh, these don't apply well then you have to really think about this again so here are my uh, three important rules uh, rolling option trades the healthy mindset three important rules number one never roll an option trade because it lost money so that is you know so much of what people do as we just discussed and it might actually be better to roll positions that have winning positions on because what that means is that you've taken in a winner right because you've made you know 50 percent or more of what could make but the momentum in that trade is probably still alive so you might want to find something in the same direction with more duration to take in more premium so never roll an option trade because it lost money that should never be the reason number two never roll forward the dollars lost so in other words if you've lost money on an uh, on some option strategy and you know you've lost a certain amount of money the the new position should not be contaminated by that money because <clears throat> what you'll essentially do then is hope to make the amount of money back that you lost based on the new position and have some sense of getting even what if you have two losing positions in a row then the the second time you roll that second position has to make back what the first two lost you end up um, chasing dollars versus actually analyzing the new trade as if it was a total new trade so that brings us to number three always treat a rolled trade as a new trade in other words it must have strategic and analytical justification all on its own the option strategy has to make economic sense and you have to have an analytical overlay that is justified for the trade in other words you don't just put on a trade because you're selling premium what you want to do is have a strategic advantage in in the trade and an analytical advantage based on your entry now that's really what we do in rankings and setups is that we do our best to find improved entry locations so that we can get a little uh, edge raise the odds of being profitable on that position or raise the odds that uh, our uh, location will have less of a risk of a psychological hit because we've put it on better so in other words it must have its own win loss parameters having not no relation at all to any other trades if you cannot justify a roll trade to stand up completely on its own as a new trade well that trade should never be put on so those are my three rules about rolling trades and what uh, I believe puts someone into a healthy mindset about positions that have not gone right in options and about assessing the 
the option of, or the choice of rolling into a new option position, which essentially taking off the old one, remember, taking off the old position and then putting on a new position. Old position, new position. That's really so important to this discussion is having that healthy mindset. That is style, strategy, and plan. And uh, I hope you've found a lot of value in that. Send me an email and let me know. I'll see you in the next segment. This is our level two trial membership. We are starting this right now for new subscribers. This will not last long and this is the last time we will have this pricing right now. What this includes is the stock index report live stream that you can see. What this, what that is, is live uh, right on your, your computer. You don't need a special platform of the S&P 500, NASDAQ and Russell. I'll show you that in a moment. Our stock index report, uh, which we uh, put out every day, the snapshot, the SIR, you'll get that every single day. You'll get our weekly stock index report, our weekly ETF review, Slimulator Momentum Tracker, which is per, for position traders and investors, over a thousand different uh, uh, stocks that you could look at, ETFs, uh, with our algorithms built into it. For with momentum conditions, you're gonna see fantastic stuff in there. Just amazing. You'll get our complete library, 600 plus videos in nine categories that I've done teaching all kinds of aspects and showing all kinds of analysis in the stock market and our new trader workbench for trade planning. Absolutely amazing. What's more amazing, you'll get all of that for $22.50 the first month. There are even bigger discounts if you take quarterly discounts. How can you possibly pass this, especially if you're an active trader? Just go to AskSlim.com, top of the main page. You'll see the special link there, and you'll be able to sign up for the one month or for the quarterly. Or if you have questions uh, about that or have an issue with that link, then write to Matt at AskSlim.com. Let me show you just some examples of what is in here. Just absolutely mind-boggling. This is the SIR live stream. Now, this was from the uh, 24th. This was from Wednesday, uh, the 24th. And uh, this is for our intraday charts, uh, really for short term trading. These are 15 minute charts of the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and the Russell. What it has on here is what we call our reversal scout. This helps you with your directional decisions. And when it turns up, which it did the day before, you generally get upside moves. You're gonna get our resistance uh, levels right in here, and you're gonna get our, uh, these are called acceleration zones, the yellow ones. The probability when they enter the uh, acceleration zone that they will continue is extremely high. You can get the numbers from that if you want. And once it gets in there, you can see it just explodes through. This is how you catch the big trades. And uh, sometimes when it dips, it dips right into the support, as you could see right there and right there. Just absolutely great. And you can also see which are the strongest and weakest of these indexes, which was really clear as the NASDAQ was the weakest and the Russell was the strongest. And you could see that. Uh, it's incredible. That is what you saw on the up day on Wednesday. How about the down day on Thursday? Let's take a look right over here. And yes, what happened was the uh, we got this early downturn here in the um, reversal scout, and it went down all day long through all of those zones right over there. Just absolutely incredible through the acceleration zones where you catch the biggest trades and then got into this area, but it was late in the day and couldn't even turn around uh, as you can see that. So just fantastic information here. How about uh, what's going on today? Let's put it up live right now for you to see. Here you go, this is now live on my screen. And we started out the date choppy moving down, but then when the reversal scout turned up, you can see what happened and it came up right to resistance and you're getting some resistance right over there. Move, you get the NASDAQ moving up through those acceleration zones, beautiful, hits the resistance, now pulling down, but you could see what's going on. What's the weakest index right now? Clearly the Russell. So if you wanted to be doing a pair trade, well, you would probably be buying NASDAQ today and shorting Russell. 
if you wanted to just buy and you didn't know which one, well, you could see which is the strongest one in here today, which is the NASDAQ. Just absolutely fantastic in resistance right now, failing from resistance, getting through the acceleration zones, hitting resistance and backing off. If you're a short-term trader, I mean, this is just unbelievably fantastic uh, information uh, when you look at that. So that is a look at uh, the live SIR live stream, and you can have this right on your charts. Just absolutely uh, fantastic, amazing. Uh, well, here is the, the library, uh, three new videos every week, nine categories, over 600 videos. I'm not going to read it to you. You can read it, but just uh, incredible things. Uh, uh, you can see trader psychology. Um, got lots of great things in there about uh, how uh, you can deal with personal issues that may be getting in your way of success. So just unbelievable stuff, including Future Speak, which we do every Wednesday, our certainly most popular member video. That's uh, what you what's included. Uh, this is the only until March 14th. So this is essentially about two and a half weeks. The final opportunity at this price for all of these great things that you're going to get you saw that $22.50 for a one month trial, quarterly discounts, bigger discounts. Go to AskSlim.com, top of that main page, and you can sign up right there or questions right to Matt at AskSlim.com.